Lord said I didn't go hard enough on this one, huh? I got you though. I understand, yeah. Pulpit, pimping, kind in the congregation Can't blame God for the temples, he forsaked it They say they not a part of this They say with straight faces, can't buy that Look at the sexual allegations Teaching not these false books, you don't have a foundation This is spirit behind these books Why so many translations? What you preaching is repetitious Basic, you say you drunk in the spirit Yeah, you wasted Eating your own vomit, regurgitating the same lies The most dangerous People are in suits and ties, living comfortable. Got the finer things money can buy. You can say what you want, they getting rich off your ties. Women leading men while the little boy suffers. One of his father, but was raised by his mother. House full of women, didn't have a brother. Feeling like Joseph with a coat of many colors. They can get rid of us with the push of a button. Killing millions every year, they do it like it's nothing. Keeping you in bondage so you always stubborn Distract you with entertainment so you never see it coming They try all angles, they occulted with the symbols Pulling you apart until they dismember you Afraid of COVID, but ingested many chemicals Locked yourself from outside, but the killer is in your living room Blood on the hands of the trappers and the rappers Blood on the hands of the heretics and actors Blood on the hands of the presidents and kings Blood on the hands of the evil that you bring Blood on your head if you're a liar and a fraud Blood on your head for these wounds and scars Blood on your head if you worship the stars Blood on your head when you sin against the living God The living God The living God Blood on the priest's hands in the synagogue Blood on your head when you sin to God What's a mess? Explain my theories and conspiracy. Reveal the depth of the UC. What if I don't believe in God? The same God that said don't spare the rod. Should I criticize D Way? Maybe this all the Jackson. This LeBron flopping. No hacking. Would they deem this as the truth? Or rather the mask against my act? I don't know what you want me to do. Verify every time you spit the truth. Are you a hypocrite? Cause you on your Lazarus. Begging the believers to wake up. But when you were lost like Saul. Drinking, smoking, dropping them draws. Porn dog, wearing the symbols of trappers and rappers. Like now, I know a cinema mesmerized by actors. Was we wrong, cuz? Was we wrong, blood? I do acting bad, thug. Can I get in my feelings over Trump? He over 70. Total of tree stuff. Lies is a new truth. Like vegan is new baloney. Overprocessed, back of little. Every bow ass need a roof. Might kill by Sony. Honey came for a rocket. Poison is skittles. What do I say about taxes? They're not paying for police. They say we need access. The minister forward. Global warming. We need paper for faxes. Tell the man we need police protection for bad acts. Our ignorance is a big factor. The hood ain't got no taxes. For the band to play at their funerals in masses. Death from the killer's asses. Death from the killer's slashes. He's smoking ashes. Cause he lost his job. Budget cuts too fast. White flesh, you can't get no eyelashes. No eggs with the beef ashes. With Jeff Bezos' bone is coming back. Advancing monopoly on pajamas and asses. Charge the granny the maximum for cheap food that causes gases. Vicious cycle, muscle spasms. My thumb playing top assassin. Robots doing my door dashes. So I read biblical passages about the world in the limited rations. God forgive my reckless passions. C316, the list of no classes in. Homosexuality is in. Women's sass in this end. Men choosing men in plazas. Did Jesus love sinners in Damascus? Or did he love men as? If God said it was, how can Super say it was not? Lord, when they gonna receive their lashes? They been here good asses. Be like William Sits opponents and tennis masses. No hall passes. Straight to the hell of detention with the prince of distraction. Blood on their hands. Living a life of seeing no head scratches. Storm the cap. See the fashion. American Iraq, taxpayer drones dropping bombs to avoid the classes. Blood on documents, hidden stashes. My girls marrying girls, isn't that tragic? Cause politicians in Florida bashing. The mouse being nice to a small fraction of those transitioning away from God's mediation. Since they can't see a lot of preordination.
a purpose and origination. They let us stay on purpose. Through fornication, lust and desire across the nation. Blood on the hands of mothers. Blood on the hands of sisters. Blood on the hands of brothers. Blood shed on the hands of one another. All I ask for is for the Lord Jesus Christ to be in this message, in this conversation. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even know what to say at the front of this talk. But I know we're talking about today a lot about what spirit are you of? Let me say that again. What spirit are you of? That's what I meant to say. And um, the situation over there in Israel, the battle, the war between Hamas and Israel is a real dangerous situation. I'm hearing a, I'm hearing about propaganda. I'm hearing about the slaughtering of children. 40 babies beheaded. I'm hearing hostages are being killed. I'm hearing a lot of things. We're hearing a lot of things. My question is what is true? What does the word say about Israel? What does the word say about Israel and how God loves Israel and the people of Israel? Because the people over there in Israel that cause themselves Jews are not Jews. See, we have a conflict of genealogies. We do. And I really believe that a lot of people have been bewitched. A lot of people been led astray for the simple fact that the truth hurts. So you have to propagand, 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 propagandize everything that you do. That's why you have media, and that's why you have these certain people that are, that's put in place to talk about these stories. But if you read in the scripture, it tell you the whole story. And the problem over there in Israel and the problem over there in Hamas is a deeper, way deeper situation than what is being told on the surface of the content that they're bringing out. Now, let me educate y'all real quick. Israel will be trampled underfoot. Israel, Jerusalem in particular, will be destroyed. That's not blasphemous to say. What spirit is Jerusalem is or, uh, or of? Today we're going to be talking about the Kudalini spirit. And many people think that they are of the Holy Spirit. People may think that they're getting their knowledge and their information from the Holy Spirit. But let's just read something um, blasphemous or not doctrinally supported by scriptures by Carl Jung. Unless you learn to face your shadows, you will continue to see them in others because the world outside you is only a reflection of the world inside you. 
the reflection of the world if that's the truth mr carl jung and i don't believe in none of these practices of the shadow work or uh the law of attraction or the love language or the self-awareness those things are conjuring spirits <laughs> those type of things are conjuring spirits all right so what's going on in israel and between israel and hamas they're being led by conjuring spirits. Don't you know Jerusalem has is the most religious spot in Amer in, in, in the whole entire world? Jerusalem is the most religious spot in the whole entire world. Why Jerusalem? Is so much tainted with different ideologies and different doctrines. See, these Jewish people that call themselves Jews or call themselves uh, Jews from the, the original uh, lineage, they are being led by conjuring spirits. If you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know about judaism and what judaism was in the beginning into what what was manifest later on about jerusalem i mean judaism you will know that this religion that they're in or judaism just to speak on judaism is not the gospel by the way, Judaism was a practice of uh, was a religious practice back when the Israelites were Israelites, right? When Judah was Judah, when Maccabees were was 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 running around trying to um, put things back in order for God, when they were honoring the Sabbath, and when they tainted the Sabbath with Hanukkah and Christmas and all these other. Um, um, celebrations and feasts that the Bible doesn't even support. So you're dealing with conjuring spirits. So you gotta remember the Holy Scriptures is a spiritual book. Hmm. It's a spiritual book. Any book that you read, there's a spirit behind it. I don't care who the teacher is or the writer is of the book. That person is being led by the spirit. Which once again, we come right back into what spirit are you of? I hope Israel and the real people that support scripture support the lord almighty the ancient of days the lord savior jesus christ will set things in order and tell people around them that this war that y'all fighting is going to be and will be a spiritual war that will manifest physically they already screaming death to jews which is not the real Jews over there in Israel. And Israel saying death to the Arabians. So already you have two sides. And these people are based and do their religious practices in Jerusalem. They have temples right next to each other. Muslims, Jewish people, Christians. You got a little mixture of mysticism. And that's why Israel is in a state as it's in because it's not of the Holy Spirit. It's of a conjuring spirit. So I've been hearing about shadow work. And um, before I get into that, I would just like to say that be careful about Israel. 
be careful about what you say about Israel and Israel people. And the people that's in Israel right now are not God's people. Now, according to the flesh, they are not God's people. Okay. According to the spirit, let's rephrase that. According to the flesh, they are not God's children. But according to the spirit, there's they're God's children. They're they're Jews. It's not the outside that makes you a Jew. It's what's in the inside that makes you a Jew. So if you're not of the Holy Spirit, I don't care if you're white, black, Chinese, uh, Asian, Islander, whatever. If your spirit is not of God and is not of the Holy Spirit, then you have no foundation. It doesn't matter how good the speech is or what you heard. If it doesn't come from the scripture, it doesn't come from God himself. You're being taught by a conjuring spirit. So the people in Israel has to know that this battle is not really theirs. It's the Lord's. But if they want to carry it out, they may do so. God will allow it according to their faith. And remember, they call God many things over there in Jerusalem. They have different names. They don't even support the King James Bible. Just think about that. So their views and their position on religion or who God is is totally different from the Western world. But the Western world adopted that same principles of religion. So I can go deep into this. But that would take another two, three hours. And I'm not trying to be that long. But I pray for Israel. I pray for Hamas. If you don't know the history between Israel and the Philistines or Palestine, because Palestine is pretty much the Philistines. You don't know the history. Uh, there was a covenant made by Abraham many, 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 many years ago with the Philistines just for burial rites. Okay. And there were people of other nations, nationalities, in Philistine or Palestine, right? And some people were good and some people were bad. But overall, during the mixing of the nations, there were different religions in different nations. God did not want us to adopt their religions or their gods. Which notoriously, Solomon, King Solomon, took on many wives of many different nationalities, which drove him away from God. Pause. That's the same thing that Israel has done to, to the Lord. It has taken in many other doctrines, sayings, rituals, traditions, Bibles, and conjured up a whole new religion. That's why you have different denominations. Again, what spirit are you being ran by? Oh man, I could keep going. But that's my kill the narrative. Let's just kill the narrative, all right? About Israel and them. People don't know really what's going on. They just hear them with the news say. So be careful with information. And I said and I suggest that you start looking into the old the, the old testament. And the New Testament talks about Israel, talks about how uh how it's gonna be attacked in many ways. But the most damaging way is by uh, religion and what God they serve. So where does shadow work? Let's read this real quick. We're not going to be all day. And I'm going to tie this in into how it's part of the Kudalini spirit. Where you have Hinduism. You have all these mysticism religions. And they actually practice this in church. This is how church has become what it is today. It's, it, become, it became cultural. Adopting many habits 
and many practices that again this scripture does not support so what is shadow work Shadow work is about revealing the unknown, the shadow of unconscious aspect of your personality that the ego does not identify with. You may experience your shadow when you're triggered in social interactions, relationships, and episodes of anxiety or sadness. The unconscious mind contains repressed emotions from painful events causing impulsive behaviors and unwanted patterns that form your dark side in short the shadow is composed of parts of yourself that have that you have forgotten abandoned and repressed in order to grow and fit in with the mob with the mode of society think back when think back to your childhood and recall the ways in which you would express yourself only to be rejected you may have been crying and told to stop you may have been laughing uncontrollably in the classroom and given a dirty glance from your teacher or peers there are countless ways in which you may have been reprimanded for what was deemed as bad and praised for what was good leaning to adjust your behavior accordingly these repressive parts of yourself don't go away forever they are stored and locked inside your unconscious mind shadow work is the process of revealing accepting integrating these parts of yourself that you have repressed and rejected the teachings of the shadow work journal will allow you to drop to dive into unconscious pockets of repressed emotions and transcend the negative effects they currently have on your well-being side note the goal is to make the unconscious conscious so that you may work on them in self-reflection and acceptance while anyone can do shadow work a licensed mental health expert expert is good is a good option especially for individuals who have experienced severe trauma or abuse uh, before beginning your shadow work it is important to it's important to set an intention to openly notice and question your own reactions the shadow is apparent in strong emotions and dissatisfaction be sure to keep a mental log of these sensations to truly understand where patterns occur and use the journal as a tool to identify what is causing them and what was causing the get to the root pages are an excellent resource to track your shadows and your roots and their roots my bad excuse me okay first of all the word shadow shadow is not um, a good word to use when you're talking about spiritual things just looking on the outside looking in that shadow is is dark right so a shadow is let's see do I need to let me let me put something up real quick hopefully I can do this to go come up yes it is okay so we're gonna look at shadow all right a shadow a dark area or shape produced by a body coming between rays of light and a surface used to refer to reference to prox proximity anonymous oppressiveness or sadness and gloom envelope and shadow cast a shadow over follow and observe someone closely and secretly so the the definition of shadow itself is a dark figure it's a figure that's between the light and yourself so shadow is is a dark area <laughs> 
is a dark entity. A shadow is a dark area where light from a light source is blocked by an object. It occupies all of the three dimensional volumes behind an object with light in front of it. The cross section of a shadow is a two dimensional silhouette or reverse projection of the object blocking the light. Hmm. So what we're practicing here and what we're getting our information from is from a dark entity. In short, now you can you can say whatever you want, but that's what it is. And that's the same way Kundalini, the Kundalini spirit reacts. Shall we talk about the Kundalini? So Hinduism, Kudalini, um, is a form of a divine feminine energy, or this word, believed to be located at the base of the spine in the mudra. It is an important concept that Shiva, or whoever this person is, where it is to believe to be a force or power associated with the divine feminine or the formless aspect of God, of goddess, of the goddess. This energy in the body, when cultivated and awakened through tantric practice, is believed to lead the spiritual liberation. Kundalini, Kundalini is associated with that word, or this this situation right here. See this right here. This is what they're talking about. This is your Hindu. This is your esoteric and mysticism this is your shadow work um Pravati Uma or Gauri is the Hindu goddess of power energy nourishment harmony love beauty devotion and motherhood in her complete form she is a physical representation of Mahadevi also known as Adi Shakati and um these are deities, all right? Um, the supreme being of Shakatism. And with the goddess, whatever this name is, Hervivi, her Hervivi is a Hindu goddess described as one of the Mahavidyas, I can't say it, the 10 avatars of the mother goddess she is the consort of whatever this name is okay the term along the practice associated with with it was adopted into hatha yoga in the ninth century it has since then been adopted into other forms of hinduism as well as modern modern spirituality or and the new age thought kundalini awakens or said to occur by very by a variety of methods and many systems of yoga focus on awakening awakening kudalini thought through meditation uh the breathing the uh, pranayama breathing okay is a yoga is a yogic practice of focusing on breathing so this is supposed to help your breathing and, and give you stamina to chant and whatever. The practice of asana and chanting of mantras, kundalini yoga is influenced by shaktism, shaktism and tantra schools in Hinduism, of Hinduism. It derives its name from its focus upon the awakening of Kudalini energy through regular practice of mantra, tantra, and yatra, and all these other meditations. Okay. And um, the etymology of it. So basically, Kudalini is the shadow work. Is about inner self. Alright. 
it talks about um, the use of Kundalini as a name for goddess Dargra, a form of Shakti, appears often in Tantrism and Shaktism from as early as the 11th century and the whatever that name is it is adopted it was adopted as a technical term in Hatha Yoga during the 15th century and became widely used in yoga um, this word right here by the 16th century Etnef whatever that person is has paraphrased the term as the coiled power a force which ordinary ordinarily rests at the base of the spine described as being coiled there like a serpent so there it is they believe the serpent is in is, is, is connected to your mind and you have to awaken this serpent which is a goddess that has many names hmm it's always about an awakening, right? It's always about the awakening. Again, these practices has entered the church. Um, we're not gonna get into all that. We're not gonna get into all that. Okay. So, Kudalini, the Kudalini spirit is used in yoga and other, and other forms of meditation. The new age has adopted this type of energy and has accepted it. And is being used in all aspects of life. Is being used in companies. Okay. Many rich people use these practices. They have to conjure up spirits so they can make money. I know you don't believe this is real, but this is what it's all about. Let's let's read this real quick. As the ancient writers have said, it is vital force or prana which is spread over both the macrosum, the entire universe, and the microsome, if I'm saying that right, the human body, the atom is contained in both of these. Prana is life energy responsible for the phenomena of terrestrial life and for life on other planets in the universe piranha is the universal aspect is immaterial but in the human body piranha creates the creates a fine by biochemical substance which works in the whole organism and is the main agent of activity in the nervous system and in the brain the brain is alive only because of piranha really the most important psychological changes in character of an enlightened enlightened person would be that he or she would be compassionate or more detached. There will be less ego without any tendency toward violence or aggression or falsehood. The awakening life energy is the mother of more uh, morality. Because of I me, mean, because all morality springs from this awakening energy, awakened energy. Since the very being, it has been the invalid, the evolutionary energy that has created the concept of morals and human beings. <laughs> as I'm, even as I am reading this, these spirits don't want me to talk about this. It's trying everything in its power. To not let me read this. The American cooperative religions scholar Joseph Campbell described the concept of Kundalini as the figure of a coiled female, 
of the coiled female serpent. Now, in the in the New Testament, it talk about the python. It talks about the python spirit. Mm. As it's being coiled around. Let's see if I can bring that up. Let's see. I'm going to bring some scripture in there. Uh, here it is. Okay, so if you go to Acts, come on, Acts sixteen sixteen, it says, and it came to pass. Matter of fact, let's 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 go back up. Uh, and on the Sabbath, we're going to read it in this context, okay? And on the Sabbath, we went out the city by the riverside where prayer was wont to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the woman with restored, which restored thither. And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Phytra. That sounds like somewhere in um, Hindu, in um, India. Which, which worship God heard us whose heart whose heart the Lord opened that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul and when she was baptized in her household she besought us saying if ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord come into my house and abide there and she, she constrained with us and it came to pass as we went over to prayer, a certain day's mood possessed with a cert with a spirit. Hmm. With a spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. And this is not the really the scripture I wanted. Um But the spirit that was in that girl must have been, um, I think, I, I, I'm telling you, I just, I could have sworn I saw a python in one of these scriptures. Python spirit, it is in there. I just don't know which one it was. But it's said to be the spirit of python. Okay. Let me see. If I'm not mistaken, I didn't see. It. I didn't even see it. Okay, but Paul, but Paul, um, after this Dazmo had had the spirit of divination, and um, he rebuked her, and um, and went on his way. Dang, I thought that was a scripture there for it, but never mind. Forget it. Anyway, going back to what we was talking about. Sorry for that. But that's still a good scripture because that's a spirit that's see the the the, the spirit that's not of the Holy Spirit is a Kundalini serpent spirit. It's the same spirit that was in the Garden of Eden with Eve. And if you notice, a lot of these spirits always attack women. If you haven't noticed, it, attacked, it, 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 it always attacked women in the most strongest way because women are emotionally um, compromised. Women are emotionally compromised, so they most of the time fall for some things. Which is why they need a covering. Which is why they need a husband. Right? Right? Which is why they need the Lord Jesus in their life. So do us. So does everybody else. But what I'm telling you is that these feminine divine spirits are uh, are mostly attracted to women because a godly man like Adam was before he was beguiled by his wife, which was beguiled by the serpent. 
he would have never agree with these serpent spirits. That's what they are. They're serpent spirits. And so when you're talking about shadow work and you're talking about Kudalini, um, you're talking about the same thing. Okay. The father of this shadow work is Carl Jung. Okay. Um, and he got these practices from the Kudalini uh, tradition. Let's look at it. Carl Jung. Western awareness of Kundalini was strengthened by his interest of Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst uh, analyst Carl Jung. Jung's seminary on Kundalini yoga, rep um, Kundalini yoga presented to the psych psychological club in Zurich, Zurich in 1932 was widely regarded as a milestone in psychological understanding of Eastern thought and of the symbolic transformations uh, of inner experience. Kudalini Yoga presented Jung with a model for the development phrases of higher consciousness, and he interpreted its symbols in terms of process of in, uh, individuation, <laughs> with uh, sensitivity towards a new generation's interest in alternate religions and psychological, psychological export, uh, explorations. In the introduction of Jung's book, The Psychology, the Psychology Logic G of Kundalini Yoga, Sunu puts forth the, em the emergence of death psychology was historically paralleled by the translation with widespread dis dissemination of texts of yoga from the deaf psychologically this, this is a hard read it's so much psychologically psych <laughs> whatever but uh sought to liberate themselves from the whatever that word is basically this is a bunch of bull crap basically he practiced kundalini he boarded in yoga he presented it to the western world the western world accepted and adopted this this practice okay since they don't since these evil spirits don't want me to read this but i'm telling you what it is because this is a, this is a hard read too many big words i'm not big on big words but you know what it is and again the new age kundalini references may be found in number of new age presentations and is a word that has been adopted by many new religions religious movements okay psychology and this is what it's about it's all about your mind so what the scripture says is have your mind and, and have your mind in christ jesus let your mind be in christ jesus what carl john is telling you let the serpent spirit be your mind okay it's all about self it's all about self understanding your psyche containing and um, controlling your emotions and your environment that's what it's all about it's about making your life as comfortable as possible and all of this doesn't lead nowhere because at the end of the day when it's all said and done when the lord says enough is enough it's going to be enough and if you're not of the spirit of the lord then what spirit are you of I'm just saying. So when you go to church and you see people running around the church, shaking, foaming at the mouth, speaking in tongues, 
is they of the Holy Spirit or the Kundalini Spirit? Because the Holy Spirit is a controlled spirit. Right? Isn't the Holy Spirit the controlled spirit? The Holy Spirit is not out of control. So again, you have to question. When you see people in church jumping around, shaking, passing out, foaming at the mouth, throwing up all over the place, laughing. Because you got even churches that think they have the Holy Spirit by laughing. Look at this. The shaking. The speaking in tongues and nobody is confirming what is being said. So even in, even in the speaking of tongues, there's an order. So if nobody is telling you what's being said, how do you know that's of the Holy Spirit? Many churches does this. And a lot of these, pra these preachers and these pastors had adopted and practiced the Kundalini spirit and understand what pressure points to push to make you shake, to make you shiver, to make you speak in another tongue. And if you're a person that's seeking that and is willing to accept it, you're as a, you are a perfect candidate for that. I haven't spoken in tongues. I haven't shaked and shivered and ran around the church and pass out and put and have them put the white sheet on me. But you know what a person would say just because I've done I haven't done none, done none of that. They would say that I don't have the Holy Spirit. They would say if I don't do none of that, you're going to hell. Again, I asked these same people these charismatic people, where in the scripture does it says that I have that if, if I don't speak in tongues, I don't have the Holy Spirit. Where does it say in scripture, if I don't run around the church and shake and shiver and throw up all over the place, I don't have the Holy Spirit. Where in the scripture does it say that? I'll wait. You can call any pastor you want. I'll wait. You ain't going to find it. Because the only people and the only and, and the only time that you seen shaking and running around and acting uncontrollably is when a person was of a different spirit. Uh, I mean, I didn't ask you a question. What happened at Pentecost? All right. Was when the spirit went over the people in Pentecost, they were speaking in tongues, right? Hmm. So when they were speaking in tongues, who received it? The people that didn't have the same tongues as them. But when they spoke in tongues, they understood. And when those people understood what they were saying after they were speaking in tongues, they prophesied or said what they were saying. That was what the speaking in tongues was for. For instance, if you're in China and you speak Spanish, if God permits, you will speak in Chinese. And see, this is what I'm saying. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're going to conjure up something else. And you're going to do things out of order. Uh, and a lot of these pastors and these preachers are more like magicians. <laughs> 
they more like uh, uh, psychics, right? Let me see what's what else. Um, I'm going crazy over here. Yeah, they more like they more like uh, psychics and and and. and and people that deal with deal with mysticism and things of that nature, and all these people that you that, that all these videos that you see when people putting their hands up and they get in touch and they just passing out and falling that is not real. A lot of these people, a lot of them are actors. They're paid to do that. Look at them shaking uncontrollably, hitting somebody else. But they say that's of the Holy Spirit. Look at this one, dancing uncontrollably, like he's in some type of spiritual twist he got going over there. But they say that's of the Holy Spirit. That's what they say. And I can say about 75% of the people that's in that building is going to go home still lost. After all that shaking, after all that putting your hands up, after doing all of that, messing up your clothes, <laughs> your hair all messed up, you're sweating, water over you, all over your body because you're wet, and you still going to go home lost and still going to have to face the same problems that you've been dealing with. Why? Because the spirit that you accepted is of a different spirit. Is a is a is a feminine spirit. This is feminine. This is feminine right here. It doesn't matter what you say. And I don't care what church you go to. I don't care what culture it is of. It's all the same thing, even in black churches, when all of them are, <laughs> when they doing the Holy Ghost dance and they all dancing in coordination, doing the same dance. That's not the Holy Ghost. <laughs> when everybody doing the same dance and they all in coordination, that's not the Holy Ghost. This is something that you've seen and you conjures up and you just know how to do. Black people know how to dance very well, so it makes it look good. It makes it look, and half of them don't even be serious. They, they, they think it's a joke. They think it's their time to, 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 to just jump around. Look, look. And they got the kids doing it. In $400 shoes. So you jumping around, you dancing with the Holy Ghost in $400 shoes. I would be jumping and dancing too if I was walking around in, in a pair of $400 shoes. See, they don't like this type of talk. Because it breaks down that, that stupid wall that they think that, that's holding it up, holding them up. That false doctrine that they're in. All the traditions of men. Look at it. Everybody dancing in formation. Like it's like it's like there's something that they practice. It's all because they see this has been done ten times over. When I was coming up, I seen people I, I heard stories that people were faking it. Remember, well, not remember, but I, I was behind the scenes. Of, of, of the ministry my grandma was a minister so I seen a lot of stuff and now that I'm in the faith entirely and I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal savior and, and, and I gave up my life I've seen the lies look look come on now and all these children are supposed to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't believe it. I, I just don't. But I don't. I don't believe it. You can say whatever. It looks cute. Sounds cute. Cool. 
But then if I ask them about certain scriptures, they don't have a, they don't have no recollection on what I'm talking about. They ne- either they never heard it before or they don't understand it. But yet, I'm supposed to think you have the Holy Ghost because you jump around the church. Cuz you spoke in some 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 lying tongue. Cuz you got to remember. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. You got to remember witches, warlocks, they speak in tongue too. So what that what you what you're talking about? Read Corinthians. It got it got two chapters specifically on tongues. And nowhere in that scripture cuz I will pull it up but I don't have that much time to deal with people that don't even want to look at it in the first place. When it comes to pass, I will. Or I may put it up on the editing. But the fact of the matter is, people don't read. And if you read, it said at the end of all of that, all the explanation of speaking in tongues and gift giving, it says, don't be amazed. Don't be impressed by gifts. But yet, we have people in awe because they see some person speaking in some tongue or dancing around the church. And I ask again, give me one scripture. Just what I, I just want one. Just give me one that represents the speaking of the tongues and the running around the church as the evidence of having the Holy Spirit. No, you have a Kudalini spirit. You have a serpent spirit. And this is why I've taken y'all to the deep waters. Because in the deep waters, that's a whole nother conversation. Because when you're talking about serpent spirits, you're also talking about water spirits. Uh, You're talking about water spirits. Now, these spirits are way different. This is next level spirit. But what people don't understand is you will conjure that up during these practices. That's why you think you had. That's why a lot of so-called people that's in church think they know it all because they they they've been um they've been um they've been praised and worshipped because they 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 dance and run around the church or they speak in some tongue. Or they call themselves a prophetess. Or a prophet. I I asked y'all a question. Prophetesses and prophets. Where's your power at? Israel is going through something right now. Israel is going through something right now. Excuse me. Y'all prophetesses with fire in your hands. And y'all prophets with fire in your hands. And the fire in your tongue. Okay. Go help Israel. Let's see if your power is is good enough to help out Israel. Oh, see, they don't want to talk about that. Oh, no, they don't want to talk about that. Why? Because they can't. They all japper jaw and they all showmanship and no evidence. I'm going to say it again. They all japper jaw. And they all showmanship, but has no evidence. And that's the state of your church. No foundation. They have lost their way in God. These preachers and pastors have sold their soul to the devil. They're boule. They're spiritualists. They're ritualists. Traditionalists. And they're in bed with the devil. Now you can say whatever you want to say. And you can take up for whatever you want to take up for. You tell your pastor. That I said what I said. And if you have any issue. We can open up the scriptures. But I know that's not going to happen. Because they don't have no foundation to, 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 to rely on. To support their arguments. 
And it isn't a cult. And it is a cult. So you can believe whatever you want. But if you're doing shadow work and you doing kundalini practices like yoga and meditation that's not of God that's the devil you can say whatever you want I know who I believe I know what I've seen. I know who taught me this. I have a foundation. My life ain't of this world. Ain't worrying about this world. Don't give a dog on about it. To be friends with the world is to be an enemy of God. And it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. So you can play with it if you want to. You can practice whatever you want to practice. You can believe whatever you want to believe. I just ask you to put it side by side with the Holy Scriptures. And if the Holy Scriptures doesn't support that, and you've been lied to, boo boo. One stinky lie is a lie. If I put cyanide in your cup of water, your water has been contaminated. If I put one drop of cyanide in your cup of water it is contaminated just like the bible say um if i'm saying it right one lump of um uh, uh, of unleavened bread will lump the whole bread all it takes is a bubble all it takes is a spark and that can be a wildfire. Let me say it again. One spark of a lie can cause wildfires. And that's what the church have done. One lie sparked it a whole bunch of divinations and a whole bunch of denominations. That's wildfire. That's chaos. And the Lord is not of chaos and confusion. So if you're a Baptist. And you don't agree with the Methodists. That's chaos. If you're Pentecostal. And you don't agree with the seven day Adventists. That's chaos. That's Babylon. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. But, you know, they, they, they don't want to hear that. If you disagree with another person, y'all don't have the same beliefs, and y'all both say y'all believe in Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter. It's chaos. Because you believe in one way, and they believe in another way. And y'all can't meet in the middle? That's chaos. That's Babylon. And I ask you this question one more time. If it's not of the Holy Spirit, then what spirit is it of? This is 316. I'm gone.